The conversation mm-hmm. about me directing came up unexpectedly. I genuinely kind of threw it on her. Yeah, he threw it on me. If I never see your face again, it will be hard. But if I ever see you with him, that will be worse, worse, worse. But I had gotten an email that was like, do you want to be in their next music video? And I sat down to Blake and I was like, you're not, you don't want me in it, but I just wanted you to know I got this email. And then he went. Oh, it's like we're reenacting. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, of course you can be in it or why don't you just direct it? And then I went, really? And, and then went, it happened. Yeah. I think at first it was like, oh my gosh, yes, I've got this. And then I realized that I was for the first time directing for a band that I deeply have so much respect and admiration for. She's a fan. A uh, pig fan. And then I also, on a personal note, did not want to let him down. So then once that all hit me, I was like, oh gosh, I really can't mess this up. But I had a good partner in crime, so. Too small the city, our circle's way too close. I mean, the concept is obviously about, you know, a relationship where you don't want to see the person with someone else. Yeah. And we were like, hmm, how can we how can we make that work in a story? Yeah, and he was like, it's miserable being with you, so I'll just do a story like, on that. Yeah, I was like, how can we make this just like our relationship? <laughs> I really like the idea of doing different eras because me and the boys love old music and have watched growing up, and that's what got us into music, is watching videos of old bands and old artists perform. So try to incorporate that in some way and then you kind of put it together. It literally all happened the same day. We went out to dinner, started talking about it, Mm -hmm. and then you were like brushing your teeth and you was like, this is what, we need to go through like different eras, how cool would that be? Um, And I think for me, creatively, because I love their music so much, Worse is the first sound that we've heard from like this this new grown up version of New Hope Club. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what can we do that's unexpected? Holds true to your values, shows you guys play your instruments and write your lyrics and uh, just appreciate music as a whole and storytelling. We knew it was gonna be big. We we had some fights with people being like, it's just not gonna happen. It's yeah. too big of a video. But we stayed we stayed firm. We on believed it. in it. We did believe in it. It didn't hurt me like it hurts me now. And there's one thing I know. If I never see your face again. So once we had the treatment we had in the our idea. heads, yeah, yeah. we had to create it. Which was kind of hard. But really fun. Because we, we knew we only had a 12 hour day. So we had yeah. to make sure we'd be able to be shot and filmed in a 12 hour day. Yeah. This was also the first introduction to us being like, Blake being like, I'm producing this. Me being like, I'm directing this. Trust us in this. It was our first little step definitely, into, please Definitely hear us a lot out. of skeptical people yeah. <laughs> uh, about, about this. I remember we were writing it. We were like, we have to get this done. Blake immediately fired me from the, the dropping of the images onto the treatment. I lost that job in 2.5 seconds. It was be- was I upset speak. at it? Absolutely not. I was like, you copy, you cut and paste that. You mm-hmm. perfectly line it up. You typed though. I did type. I was the typer. And I was the person who was coming up with how I was cheating on you, which I'm not sure. <laughs> You loved it. I was like, why are you so good at this? <laughs> Blake would why be like, so many ideas? I would be like, like, what if Reese and I were blah, blah, blah. And he'd be like, that's great. That's great. No, I don't want that. That's <laughs> I don't have to watch that. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> The next step of the process was how else can we make this video special? Um, And I had this thought that because it was also my first time directing, and so I was like, how could I possibly get to incorporate the people that have inspired me in this new step of mine that I'm really excited to take? And so I reached out to a bunch of people, but I was so beyond thrilled um, when some of my Wizards Ripley Place family were in town and so down to be part of the video. I was honestly I was freaking, freaking out. No, you were I, freaking I, out. I was. No, you weren't. I you've was been, like, you were, wizards are freaking been, some of them Yeah, back. you've been in it though. It's very different to being a fan. <laughs> Me and my sister used to sit down and watch Wizards Waving Place every day after school. Who was your favorite character? Obviously, um, the dad. Painful. <laughs> we're gonna just, talk I, about David I've now. I've fallen in love with David DeLuise. I get that, I have too. David DeLuise is in our video and he <laughs> is unbelievable. Uh, he played the dad in Wizards of Blue Place. Maria was able to come. She was it the was mom, so unbelievable. Jennifer Stone was in the video, who was Harper. David Didn't Henry, and they've just been dear friends of mine. So I was like, what do you guys think about doing a mini Wizards reunion for this video? And they were like, 100% will be there. And then my dear friend, Maddie Ziegler, we've always talked about trying to find something to do together. So I was like, it'd be really fun if 
we put her in the opening scene where there's no music. It's the hard open of the video, something totally different. Yeah. And David also is down to do that. Yes. If the news gets out about this, no, it's not. It won't. We're being very discreet. Okay. Sorry for interrupting, <sighs> ladies. Uh, mind if I steal it for a second? Yeah, of course. Hello, AB. I'm a huge High School Musical fan, so is this guy. We all are. Who is in it? So. No. Come on. We were like, what if Troy Bolton's dad happened Where's to be in the Bolton? music video <laughs> with a basketball, not focusing on the performance, and his wife, Robin Lively, who I've done a film with, they said yes. Okay. They're iconic, get it? <laughs> I was freaking out. Uh, Meg Donnelly, a friend of both of ours and the band, um, came. Not only did she come and be in the video, she literally hung out the whole she day was, yeah, just so, so they'd good. like be there and support us. And then obviously we had friends and family as well. My brother was in it, my little nieces. Yeah, everyone was. It was so fun. I think the most badass moment of your directing career so far yeah. was we shot the, the sofa scene already, right. which is at the end of the video, but we shot that first. Um, and we, we came into where the 60s was being shot and they were saying, we're not gonna have the stage for for the 60s set. Mm. And you were like, oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> but we had to wait for the lights above to be finished. Yeah. And so Bailey comes in, she's like, I hadn't seen this side of her before. She's like, <laughs> Great, she's like drop the lights, like, keep drop it the lights, in. get the stage get in. Get the floor in. <laughs> get the floor in right now. We need to get the wooden floor down. And I was like, I would like to think there were some fleas that followed. I still said fleas here and there. Yeah, but yeah. it was like, everyone was like, all right, the video is definitely, you know, underway, let's go. That will be worse, worse, worse. That will be worse. So thanks for watching everyone. Obviously this has been such a journey for us. We love you all. Thank you for the support and enjoy it. Thanks guys. That will be worse. I definitely dazed off at one point then, but, but like, but like it was spot on. For a second, I was definitely like. <laughs>